بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Muhammad Abid Qureshi and I am a student of Dar al-Ulum Barwa. First of all, I would like to wish everyone Ramadan Mubarak and we hope that Allah makes this month a means of forgiveness and mercy for everyone. Inshallah, I've, throughout this month, I've had the privilege to share with everyone the stories of the Prophet ﷺ. These are very beneficial for everyone and especially the young children in our community. Inshallah, today, We'll start with session one of the story of Prophet Adam alayhi salam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. There was only empty space. There was no water, wind, earth, sky, night, day, sun, moon, light, or darkness. Allah alone existed. He wanted to create the universe and everything. The first thing he made was the wind. He then made water, which he put over the wind. He then made his throne on the water. A smoke rose over the water, and the smoke was called the sky. The skies were all joined. Allah then split them apart. They became the seven heavens. Everything was dark. There was no light. The earths were all joined to each other. There were no gaps in between. There was no night or day. Allah then said to the sky, Let my sun shine, let my moon glitter, and let my stars appear. So the sun rose in the middle of the sky, the moon reflected its light, and the stars shone. Allah made the dark night after the light of the moon left. He then made the sun shine over everything. The first light fell on the earth, and that was the first morning on earth. Allah made a place for each star in the sky. As the sun went to the west, night took over day, and everything became dark again. Allah made the earth like an egg and spread it out. He then ordered it. Let your rivers flow, and let your fruits come out. So the rivers flowed, and the green grass and trees grew. Allah then made the mountains as pegs, so that the earth can stay firm. Allah created birds which flapped their wings in the sky. He created the crawling animals which crawled upon the earth and in the grass. He made the beasts which grazed on earth. They had no partner unto them in the world. The creation of all these was completed in only six days. Allah never felt any tiredness from that. The Most Merciful established control from His throne. The angels surrounded Him. They recited His praises and glory. The new way of day changing into night and night into day continued. Darkness and light took turns. The dark night came and the sun shone. The angels were praising and glorifying Allah as they do every day. Allah said to them, Indeed, I shall make a representative on earth. The angels were surprised. They asked Allah, Will you make on it someone who will spread corruption on it and spill blood? Whereas we declare your purity with praises and glory? The angels knew that the jinn lived on earth and that they had spread corruption on it. Allah then sent the angels to take the jinn away from the earth to faraway seas. Allah now said, I know what you do not know. The angels were happy with Allah's order and they left. Allah ordered Jibreel alayhi salam to go down to the earth and bring back clay from it. When Jibreel came down, the earth said to him, I seek Allah's protection against you, taking away from me. He returned to Allah without having taken from the earth. Allah asked Jibreel alayhi salam, Why did you not bring clay? Jibreel alayhi salam replied, O oh my Rabb, it asked for your protection, so I had to give it. Allah then sent Mikail alayhi salam, the angel of rain. The earth said to him the same what it said to Jibreel alayhi salam. So he rose to Allah without taking clay from the earth. He told Allah the same what Jibreel alayhi salam had said. Allah then sent the angel of death to take a handful of sand from the earth. The earth said to him, I seek Allah's protection against you taking away from me. The angel replied, I seek Allah's protection against returning to him without having done what he ordered me to do. He then took a handful of all kinds of earth, and it was red, white, and black sands. That is why the children of Adam are white, red, black, gentle, hard, filthy, pure, and everything in between. The angel of death rose with the sand, and Allah took it from him. He made it wet. It became sticky, one part sticking to another. Allah then made a human shape from the clay, without any soul. He left it until it became black clay. It was hollow without any soul. He then left it until it became dry clay like pottery. 
the angels would pass by this clay thing with great fear. With them was a pious person who claimed knowledge and faith. He was not one of the angels, but the angels thought good about him. He was called Iblis. His heart was filled with jealousy and pride. Iblis was the one amongst creation who feared Adam salam the most. He thought about him and said to himself, For what reason has he been created? Iblis went near to Adam salam and hit him. He then learned that he was hollow. He had no soul in him. He entered his mouth and left him. He became more proud and said to the angels who feared Adam salam, Do not fear this, for it is hollow. If I should be given power over it, I shall certainly destroy it. The angels said to each other, Our Rabb has never created anything except that we had more knowledge than it. Adam salam stayed like this without a soul, while Iblis thought about him. He hated him before even knowing the truth about him. Such was the stupidity of Iblis. Adam stayed an empty body without a soul until the time came that Allah decided to blow his soul into him. The angels came to Allah and stood in rows. Allah then said to the angels, When I blow into him from my spirit, fall down and blow to him, bow to him. The angels accepted Allah's orders. However, Iblis did not. He promised to himself that he will not bow to Adam salam, who was made of clay because he was made of fire. Fire is greater than clay. Iblis forgot that in clay there is softness, patience, and composure. Fire is reckless, fast, and burning. He therefore promised not to join the angels when they bowed. Allah blew into Adam salam. Wherever the soul entered the body, there the body became blood and meat. The first thing the soul entered was his eyes. He looked at his body and was amazed at its beauty. He wanted to stand, but was not able to do so. He looked at the fruits of Jannah. He wanted to eat from them, but his soul had not entered his legs yet. So he could not stand. That is why Allah says, man has been created hasty. The soul entered the rest of Adam's body and he stood on his feet. He was named Adam because he was made from the Adam, surface sand of the earth. When the soul reached Adam salam's head, he sneezed. Allah inspired him to say, Alhamdulillah, all praise be to Allah. He was the first to praise Allah so. Allah replied, Yarhamukallah, may Allah have mercy upon you. All the angels bowed to Adam salam. They bowed out of respect. Iblis did not. He was filled with pride. He did not bow and he was a disbeliever. Allah said, what stopped you from bowing when I ordered you? Iblis said, I am better than him. You created me from fire, and you created him from clay. Allah then said, Go down from it, the heaven. It is not for you to be proud in it. Leave. You are from the small ones. Iblis replied, Give me a chance until they come alive again, until Qiyamah. Allah said, You are of those given a chance. Iblis then replied, Because you made me astray, I will sit and wait for them on your straight path. Then I shall come upon them from their front, from behind them, from their right, and from their left. You will not find most of them grateful. Iblis had very bad manners. He argued with Allah. He threatened to lead the children of Adam salam astray and make them disbelieve in Allah. Allah said, Leave it disgraced and chased him away. I shall, I shall certainly fill up Jahannam with all of those who follow you. Iblis left Allah's mercy and was called Rajim, rejected. His Rabb was angry with him and he was called La'im, accursed. He left Allah's obedience and was called Shaytan, the devil. Allah promised the fire for him and those who follow him. It is only sensible that people make Iblis their enemy and not obey him in any sin. We should always obey Allah. Allah said to Adam salam, Go to these angels and say to them, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. They replied to him, Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullah, and peace be upon you and Allah's mercy. Adam alayhi salam returned to his Rabb, who said, This will be the greeting of you and your children. Adam alayhi salam realized that he had an enemy, who was Iblis, and that the angels were his friends. However, one matter remained to be solved. It was that the angels had said, Our Rabb does not create anything except that we have more knowledge than it. Inshallah, we'll be continuing with session two of the Prophet.
of the story of Prophet Adam alayhi salam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.